Hello zusammen, welcome to our program Friends on Air. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's all welcome our co-host for this morning, of course. Because we have this saying that, oh not a saying, uh, not a saying, but according to God, it is not good for a man to be alone. So let's all welcome Itinakda. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Good morning. Good morning. World. Okay, I have a flower again for you, and at this time, this is a beautiful one. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank wonderful. You. Say it. Say to the world. Say to the world. Okay. This is a flower from the tree we steal. <laughs> we steal. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have to hold my hair because it's freezing. It's windy as yeah, well today. today okay, you can describe the environment now. Um, can you see a different in the background today? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's more green. Okay. Because yesterday the trees was the forest was mm -hmm. wasn't yet with leaves, mm -hmm. but today it turns out the leaves. Okay. Now it's more green okay go ahead okay this morning we're going to share with you or we're going to discuss a very interesting topic again because we always offer here friends on air always offer a beautiful topic to each and every one of us and at this point in time i am very sure you can relate you can relate because we're going to discuss about should i get back with my ex what the, what you can say about our title of our topic uh, yeah should i get back with my ex yeah i guess we have to ask uh, some questions before okay we think about <laughs> go ahead i okay. share my yeah. program like one question you can ask yourself is why or oh, what's the reason it didn't work or why it didn't work. Go ahead. And um, you can ask um, why or if you grow like after the break. And many like questions you can ask before you go back to the ex. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? It seems it's as hard it for means, you. Yeah. But it, is, it seems it's hard for you to explain what is X. Have you ever had oh, or yeah. you had an X? I guess this is clear for everybody, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. We will <laughs> discuss this to... more clearer or more, okay. uh, more. Uh, what do you call this? More <laughs> easier to understand because my wife cannot yeah. explain it well because it's it's really hard. Maybe for me, I can share a lot because I have a lot of blah 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 blah. Okay, just continue. Uh, your because I'm going to share my 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 video now okay so. about our topic um okay later on i have to share because i need to okay okay i need to okay before that i would like to welcome our friends from the philippines uh she uh and mark anthony please continue sharing our videos today our video <laughs> today <laughs> okay oh let's go now to our topic okay so like what have you said our topic is all about should i get back get back with my ex okay yes most of us most of us i guess 99 percent before we have our relationship before we got a successful relationship we passed through several breakups oh don't deny don't deny <laughs> so this morning we are going to uh discuss um because this is a second time around we have this saying that love is sweeter the second time around but but before that before jumping back to your ex you need to listen and watch this program because we're going to give them some a little bit uh inputs. what inputs inputs and guidelines oh see guidelines <laughs> or suggestion uh before uh deciding to get back with your ex okay we will give you uh, at least six pointers so that uh you'll have a guide right now before 
before you decide again and getting into uh, another relationship or a second time around okay yeah okay let's give oh, what you have in your mind or what you okay. have in your notes yeah. or anything from okay. her <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good uh, questions you can ask yourself. Mm -hmm. Why, um, why didn't it work out the first time around? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Have you recently broken up with your partner? Are you questioning whether or not it was right decision? You may even be asking yourself complicated and emotional question like should I get back with my ex? Okay, this is a very emotional question for you to ask yourself. So before that, we have to give you some, uh, what do you call this, some, uh, a little things to ponder upon in order for you to get back to your ex or you have to go back or not to go back okay okay things to ask yourself before reconnecting with an ex okay first thing first question that you have to ask yourself now I'm now getting in <laughs> okay first question why didn't work out the first time around so this question is very much essential I guess because before going back or before getting back to your ex you need to ask the, this question what happened before so what do you think can you uh, yeah. cite an example why a relationship uh, broke up yeah there can be many reasons different reasons just like give me 100 example, reasons yeah ex <laughs> Go ahead. example um they they don't have the same goal uh -huh. or they don't have the same spirituality like mm -hmm. uh, religion mm -hmm. or they don't have the same uh, vision or dreams mm -hmm. or they don't have the same uh, interests okay or they don't like the faults from each other or like the character how they act or or yeah uh, from each other maybe i hope i hope they hear your voice <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah yeah that's true that's true what you have Different. mentioned are several of some <laughs> or some of the several things that sometimes lead to the breakup of a relationship okay so i i guess i can uh, categorize this into a major differences i guess yeah. so you have mentioned like religion like different outlook in life and as well as clashing of personalities okay we can explain this this is a very simple one clashing what do you understand yeah, example How? Okay. Uh, one side is very extrovert mm -hmm. <laughs> the other is very introvert okay just continue and go, maybe go, go. the one of them want to talk always so mm -hmm. hard or want to uh, be around people the other person is maybe the diff the opposite and okay. want to be by self always or mm -hmm. or don't need to talk uh, okay. with the other person um, this could be a, maybe a reason okay not uh, could be nagging yeah uh, uh, the woman yeah. is a nagger yeah. or uh, the man is a bit uh, introvert introvert meaning he is not fun of expressing himself or his yeah true okay another thing is that because i am i am confused on how to do with my another uh, ipad here to connect my my video to some other okay group so 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 okay another one is let's go back now different visions of your future mm. because some people or maybe your partner has no vision has no vivid has no clear vision for his future or it could be your the girlfriend or the boyfriend when I say vision for the future you have no plans you have she or he has no plan for his future like uh, pursuing his career like uh, looking for a good job in order for them if they get if they get married they have enough money or they have this means to survive so there are, these are only a few of things that sometimes uh, lead to a broken relationship okay and of course the second question that you have to ask is have 
I or my ex grown since the breakup. So what is your idea of this? On um, this? Like after breakup or like with from with every person you can grow. Okay, okay, go ahead. It's uh, like uh, also if there are differences mm -hmm. or if they are like fights or whatever. however, okay. uh, you can grow from it because you can learn from every human, a god, never mind mm -hmm. uh, if you like or dislike the person, you can grow from every person. And in a relationship, if it broke up, um, you can grow from it and you can learn for the future, for the for the future time. Like if you want to go in a next relationship, you can learn in the past what uh, yeah what it worked it, or didn't work. Maybe then you can grow what you can. Uh, okay. You can okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> handle with the next situation. okay why is it very important that you ha you have to understand if both of you grown up from the breakup this is the reason why i guess because it is uh it is very important because you need to know the reason the reason why we broke up why we have this broken up relationship because um there are things that you need to improve Maybe that's the very essence of this discussion now that you need to know whether the breakup uh, was, your, was your fault or is it a mutual decision? And this is a very question, uh, very important questions to ask to both of you. To both of you, if you have grown from the breakup, it is a good idea to give yourself time after a breakup to work yourself improve and grow because if you see that the situation that both of you did not change or no changes at all then you are now in trouble if you are planning to get back your ex mm -hmm. do you think mm -hmm. do you believe so yes because Bec there was a reason like if something bro broke if something <laughs> broke up then there is a reason yeah <laughs> i know we, this yeah, is the reason course, uh, yeah i know then, uh, there are reasons, yeah, there are all reasons already then, that the, yeah, the relation was yeah, uh, uh, yeah, sure. uh, okay. Uh, and <laughs> if that both doesn't grow, then it can repeat the same again. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, <laughs> okay, guys, okay, guys, it's, re it's really hard to explain if you have no experience with this topic, right? Or, or if not change or grown or improve or anything maybe think about giving yourself some time okay and another thing is that or you consider there are many benefits of staying single and concentrating on yourself okay okay this this is true this is true because if you jump into uh this relationship again then without resolve resolving the previous problems that you have or the that caused your breakup then it's another uh it's another nightmare for you guys okay i guess i need to read some uh comments okay you can open your now you open your our video so you can see our the comment because if i'm going to do this now it's hard for me okay i'll go on okay let's continue the third question that you must ask with yourself is why do we want to get back together okay if your answer is you feel no one else will love you or your friend and family think that you should reconnect this is not a good sign so meaning guys uh planning to reconnect your ex must be a decision that coming from your heart it's not a reason that because your friends uh, advise you, okay, you have to reconnect your ex. Your parents also said, okay, go ahead, go ahead, my son, my daughter, reconnect to your ex. No, they are, they are not, yes, they are good suggestion, but they, these suggestions are not the effective one, I guess. So the, the decision, I guess, must be coming from you because you are the one who is going to reconnect with your ex okay do you agree with that yeah, sure. okay go ahead <laughs> so 
Okay, and number, and let's go with the number four if you have nothing to say about this. <laughs> okay, before that, I would like to read some other comments from him. You forget, okay, from Steven Peter, from my friend from, okay, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay you're forgetting the main person you have to ask that is god and not your own family okay, okay that's it's true he has a good point as well okay okay uh, steve yeah it's correct mm. that you need to have ask god first mm. okay uh meaning is that you have to kneel down and ask God about mm. your decision mm. because you cannot have your own decision mm. you cannot have a wonderful and effective and a decisive decision if you if you made it by your own self mm. you need a lot of prayer mm. and thank you for that Steve yeah. Tita Asia is watching you can share your opinion and okay I would like to challenge each and every one of you who are watching now just send your uh comment and suggestion so we can read and as well as you can uh have an interaction with our viewers as well okay and more you should know in your heart why you want to get back with your ex and another thing if you are unsure this may be a sign that you should move on okay if you think if you don't have a valid reason if you don't have a very strong reason to get back with your ex then maybe this is a time or maybe this is a, a sign that you have to move on okay the fourth question that you must ask yourself that you should ask yourself is um, what do you think do you have some ideas or you want to share yeah I just want to answer okay go the, ahead the last uh, question you, you asked. okay um, like a reason like if, if it's the reason that somebody just want to go back because mm -hmm. uh, the person don't want to be alone or mm -hmm. single okay then uh, this is not a good reason mm -hmm. because uh, uh, it can affect again the next relationship mm -hmm. if this is would be only the reason like to go back to the ex just because fear mm. to be alone further okay 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 the fourth question that you should ask for yourself okay do we both recognize our mistakes okay mistakes an easy and easy and easy and easy word okay <laughs> do we both recognize our mistakes okay at this point in time we have you, you need to you need to see your boyfriend your ex your ex-girlfriend and discuss these things if both of you recognize your mistakes okay do you know where you you both went wrong yeah you should know about the what are the reason what went wrong and owning up to your mistake is important in order to grow and improve as a person because some people or some couples or some relationship well I'm referring to boyfriend and girlfriend they don't own their mistakes instead instead of owning it instead of taking the responsibility or being accountable for what they have done they are justifying it no it's you no it's you it's you it's not me it's you that's why we broke up so this is not a good uh, I guess this is not a good uh, starting point that you are planning to uh, to reconnect your your, with your ex and now with yourself you cannot accept what you have done before okay and the fifth question is how will you prevent yourselves from falling back into old habits okay what type what kinds of habits that you have okay I'll give a very simple illustration in here uh, about this one how to prevent is like if the man is a womanizer if the girl is fun of flirting with other boys that's a bad habit that you need to cut yet that you need to stop in order for you to be ready for this for this second time around for this second relationship or for the second 
chance for you to reconnect each other. So it's very important that you need uh, to stop. You need to to what do you call this? Uh, you have to distance yourself from the temptations, I guess. Because for a man, like for instance, if my weakness, if the weakness of your boyfriend is uh when he sees a beautiful woman then he can easily well fall in love or or whatever it is so you need to have a clarification you need to be more specific on the problems okay you want to say more I, it's clear for me <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say okay we people. have a lot for of discussion clear. when you go back at home later <laughs> Okay, the another thing, I guess this is the last thing that you, you should ask yourself. Can you truly forgive? Okay, at this point in time, it's not easy. Okay, because in a relationship, of course, you hurt your partner. You hurt your boyfriend. You hurt your uh, girlfriend. Or maybe you hurt your wife. A divorce, right? If you divorce, of course, you hurt each other. So, you need... You have this in your heart you have to accept you have to uh, I guess to forgive so what can you say about forgiveness yeah forgiveness I get I I believe real forgiveness you just can have from God can, it's a gift from God mm -hmm. like as more you have a relationship with God as mm -hmm. more you can accept mm -hmm. and if you take from God's will like because you prayed for this Mm -hmm. And if God say no, mm -hmm. then you can better accept and then you can put in God's hand and you can better to forgive the other person. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, why, why we need to forgive our partner? Because if you, are, if you will not settle this uh, hatred, if you will not stop or you will not overcome this hatred, of course, this will become a baggage an excess baggage for you and to open another uh, level of relationship it will surely ruin your relationship so you need to forgive you need to forgive you need to uh, you have you need to have you need to have a peace of mind mm. because getting back with your ex is another opportunity mm. is another chance mm. and yet you haven't forgiven that person so it's really hard so you have to forgive and forget not only forgive but also you have to forget certain situations bring up the past and not able to build a new future this could mostly likely result in another spl split okay and that's true and that's very true because some other couples because of their emotions they just jump again to reconnect mm. with her ex mm. but what happened why is it it's not successful at this second time around because there are certain things that they never what settled mm. that they have never settled first mm. okay more <laughs> <laughs> okay you have nothing to say it's now nothing. so I have, to, uh, some here, I, I have to read some comment from here I guess Okay, share. How should I get back if I don't have ex? And that's a very good question. <laughs> you find your ex first before you find your wife. Okay, I have to read now some comments from our viewers here. Okay, maybe I can I can use my Okay. See? Okay, hold this one. Okay, be, okay. Uh, stay foot guys. You hold this one and I have to read from here. Okay, okay, okay. I have a uh, okay. Lance Olandeska, Lance Olandeska, my takapagmana. Okay, shout out now. Okay, tana. Okay, here. Uh, what? Mm hmm. On Lance, this is in German. How should I understand this one? <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Another thing here from Stephen God asked 
Hosea to go after his wife even though she left him and had affairs. Okay, thank you for this one. And Cheryl from the Philippines, okay, my answer for your question, how should I get back if you don't have ex? <laughs> then you sh you should find first your <laughs> for first your uh, first boyfriend <laughs> okay Arth from arthur ligostov hey, okay good morning my friend this is my friend from uh, germany friend arthur you can say you can uh, join with us by sending your comment uh, comment with this topic should I get back with my ex maybe you have a lot of inputs from here our tour okay from Atidan okay more often present partner is much better than your ex you will realize it once you found the right one you will just say ah kaya pala hindi siya okay you may <laughs> ah kaya pala hindi siya oh better that she or he's not okay i transfer <laughs> I, I i i what do you call this i i okay how can i try uh, move this one okay thank you thank you guys and maybe uh, for a practical reason i guess we can talk now in practical ways on how to prepare yourself from uh reconnecting your, with your ex uh on my case i have the, i have already told you this before right i have X. of course <laughs> before <laughs> so the problem here is the real issue here guys uh when when a man says this is finished then it is finished it is hard for a man uh to break a heart for a woman but sometimes if you really in the extreme situation if you are already in a dead spot already then all you have to do is to raise your head and say okay this is done but for a woman i guess and not all don't don't um, misconstrue me by saying this that most of the women if a man tries to court her again after the breakup it's easy for a woman to reconnect than for a man what is your idea yeah because uh, ladies are general more maybe mm -hmm. more emotional <laughs> a bit more feeling mm -hmm. than men in the brain <laughs> mm -hmm. okay and, yeah yeah so 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 so, so that, that, that's the reason why that's the reason why we need to consider these things that you should not do because there is no perfect relationship we this is very clear that even husband and wife has no perfect relationship and how how much more for the girlfriend and boyfriend relationship there are a lot of things there are a lot of things to what they call overcome there are a lot of things you have to hurdle there are a lot of things that you need to consider so before getting into a married life so better yet at this point in time you are already familiarized with your is my english correct familiarize <laughs> with your girlfriend or boyfriend if there are things that cannot be fixed cannot no means at all then better yet you have to move on than reconnecting yourself so um i just have a question like, question if what would you advise mm -hmm. for the <laughs> viewers okay um if somebody or both mm -hmm. uh, if after they broke up okay if both both think about later on mm -hmm. to go back to the ex uh, how what what's uh, like the time you would advise like should be a long time between or like a, sh a very short time till they go back okay my partner is question have a question for me and she is part of the program right <laughs> okay it's a good it's a good one okay i have to answer with that she is asking about the period the length the time we're in the right time to reconnect with your ex i guess no amount of time here short or long time uh, to consider what is important is how prepared are you 
Is your heart prepared enough? Is your heart prepared enough? Are you ready for reconnecting? Because you, you, I guess you had this bad uh, experience already before. So it's not a matter of time, but it's a matter of uh, being prepared. If your heart is ready, then you, you can talk with your ex. If your heart is not ready, after five years then still it's not the right time to reconnect okay more question no more okay tita Asian, you're just watching and you have no idea at this time okay more and okay 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 so maybe this topic is a bit hard for every one of us because i noticed as well you cannot express yourself about this one maybe because you have no experience of x x x so so guys so maybe we can uh, we can uh, end our program by by sharing with them i have a what uh, before uh sharing my piece of advice and some thoughts about this topic okay go ahead your parting words for this one. Oh yeah. Uh, what I uh, will advise for those mm -hmm. who would think about mm -hmm. um, ask all these questions. Be honest mm -hmm. to yourself and honest to the situation mm -hmm. and pray a lot. Uh, read a lot from as well from, from the Bible and uh, let you guide from God, from the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Let He guide you there in the correct direction. And maybe it's also good to talk uh, with uh, friends uh, who you re really can trust mm -hmm. um, to what like about the situation uh, to get wisdom mm -hmm. to get advices mm -hmm. for yeah they know the, they know you and then they can give you uh, wisely uh, advices. Okay, okay. Uh... For me, well, I have to say this. Each relationship is unique and different for everyone. There are many reasons as to why things may not work out. It's really important that you are confident with your own decision and know that whatever you do is going to be best for you. And remember, no perfect relationship. And another thing that in order to avoid this breakup, in order to avoid these uh, hurt feelings or being the subject or being the one to be blamed about the breakup I guess at the at, in your relationship I need you need to be transparent you need to be honest you need to be uh, what do you call this you need to be more specific of, of your feelings mm. because if you are not sure at the very start of your relationship then what is the point of getting into a relationship so or on the other side if you are now in a relationship if you see that there are things that you cannot accept if you see that there are act of your partner wherein it's not uh good for you or it makes you stress or where it causes you a lot of uh what do you call this uh sadness a lot of troubles a lot of oh, which doesn't make you happy. oh oh, oh yeah. that doesn't make you happy okay so you you better you better i guess not to, to reconnect again okay because relationship is must be a growing relationship yeah and and i guess it's also important that not too much your feeling guide you mm -hmm. in the, this decision uh because love is a, um, a, principle. Yeah, a principle okay we and always say this crazy. love is principle okay. because we are using our brain we are using yeah. our mind to decide not by our emotion only so thank you guys for watching this program and i would like to give a shout out and to read some other comments from our viewers from here okay go good i will say bye bye uh -huh. god bless and guide you in the correct direction bye bye okay oh you you can bring this one 
Okay, I have to read from here because we forgot. We have an. <laughs> we <laughs> she forgot to off <laughs> from the oven. <laughs> she needs to run going back. Okay, Liancy writers from Philippines. Thank you for watching. Kingsley Atebe. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Share the princess of prince on air mark anthony thank you eunice estante padrina thank you for watching kuya lanzo landesca thank you serendipity thank you and russell rs my good friend from the philippines thank you for watching and also 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 juan uh what this okay gong calves peria okay thank you and and steven from uh, the Philippines is now in the Philippines at the done. Thank you for your comment and thank you for your inputs as well as Steve and Agnes Soreno then Tita Isyang and Arthur my Arthur Ligos Time <laughs> I don't know my friend maybe uh, le, okay, I'll ask you how to pronounce your last name and Atidan okay <laughs> you're making fun out here all excess are ugly not not everyone uh, rose marine rose marilyn sorry good morning foa and thank you thank you and Benu Filomeno. thank you guys for watching this program this morning because i guess uh i hope and pray that our topic this morning uh gives a glimpse on how to deal a relationship no perfect relationship not unless we have a close relationship with our god okay because without god without god our relationship would be uh what do you call this uh, would be uh would be um would be uh okay i i can't i cannot think any good adjective for this one but to say could not be a good example with other people around us because sometimes a good relationship can be an example with other people not only for you uh, two of you the couple but also with your friends and with some other people because good relationship really uh, derives or really comes from a close relationship first with God and with your partner Okay, thank you and bye-bye for now. Ako po si Kebigang Words mula dito sa Switzerland. Bye-bye!